watch this. <laughs> hey everybody. Good evening. This is Cooking with Tater Buggin. I'm Mr. T. I have my lovely assistant, Lindy, right here with me. Hey everybody. We're going to cook tonight. It is Friday night. Let everybody come in and join us here. I hope everybody has keyed this in and ready to go. I hey, see Patty and Cindy. Patty and Cindy's already here. Hey, Cindy. Cindy, there is a big old package on the way to you. Did you see that? Did you check your email? Who else is here? Cecil, uh, Cecile, yeah, and Jody. Jody hey, said, everybody. Jody said, let the good times roll. We are ready to <laughs> roll here this evening. We're going to cook something. Hi, We're going to cook. We're going to cook. Sorry, How's everybody doing? Hey, is that, uh, that's Carol. Hey, Carol, how are you? Oh. Trying to, I have to get kind of close to the phone, from my phone here to, to see y'all. Hey, Dolly is here. Hey, Holly. Dolly. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> Hi, you handsome. <laughs> hey, Betty and, and Trudy. Lynn, Trudy, Ruth Cunningham. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming in. Who wants to have a Southwest egg roll? That's what we're cooking tonight. We're gonna have, we're gonna make some Southwest egg rolls with a ranch avocado dip that is to die for. Thank you, Judy. Allergies. I'm What's, gonna drill war off. She blessed me. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Sorry, I did. I was, I was talking. <laughs> what did Cindy say? I did not see an email, but I'm sure it's on the way. It is. It was shipped yesterday. You should have, you should have gotten an email. Let me know if you didn't because that my system is supposed to uh, automatically send you an email whenever I ship to uh, anyone in particular. Melissa, Bye. you'll see Sneezy's hair, hairdo Sunday. <laughs> what is it now? She wanted to see Sneezy's uh, haircut. Oh, yours? Yours? <laughs> yeah. Your new color and all? I got a new color! Oh, she's pretty. She's pretty. You just got to see it. You got to tune in Sunday. All right, let's get started here. We're just going to start with the, with our great big old skillet, our big old stoneware skillet that we use. Oh, you have a new viewer. Deborah has watched me, but this is our first time watching you. Well, welcome, Deborah. We're glad to have you. We have a lot of fun. I see my friend Penny is here. I'm going to be setting a couple of things aside just for you, Penny. Cindy, you're sweet. Thank you. Oh, and Regina, too. Y'all are sweet. <laughs> she is. She's a doll. She's my doll. Oh. All right, let's get started. We're going to heat up a skillet here, and we need just a little bit of olive oil in it, and we're also going to put some butter in there because we're going to saute some onions and red bell peppers. As I do my usual stepping out of the picture here. I was going to ask while he's doing that if uh, you're watching on YouTube after the fact, of course not live, um, would you please uh, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like and um, notification bell. No, Dolly, sorry. You're out of luck. <laughs> you got to wait till Sunday. Got to wait till Sunday. I got to you know, have something to get them there Sunday. You girls know how it is. When you go to the beauty shop, you come out of there, they never fix it exactly like you want it. So she's got to get it fixed. And I'll fix it. It's that'll Karen, happen Sunday. Karen does an, ab an absolutely great job. Usually, I mean, it's perfect. But today she had somebody come in early. So I told her, I said, don't worry with it. But. Yeah, well, all right. We're going to... Just, we're heating up some olive oil, just a little bit, maybe a half, a, uh, maybe about a teaspoon of olive oil and then about a tablespoon of butter. Wanda, that's okay. We appreciate Silent Watchers too. Thank you for saying that. Now, we're going to, uh, as always, we're going to post the, the menu, uh, the menu, <laughs> the recipe <laughs> for you uh, for these uh uh, all of this that we're going to do tonight, but uh, it'll probably be in the morning before we, that we get that posted. But we're going to start with just some sweet onion. 
Uh, it needs to be diced real finely because the, we're going to put these in an egg roll, so it has to be kind of fine. So we're going to put that in the in the stove. And I can't. My words won't come to me tonight. Teresa, a lot of people have lately. I've noticed that. That's okay. <laughs> I've never been called Linux before, though. Linux. <laughs> Her phone corrected it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're we're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the onion and some. Uh, finely diced red bell pepper. Where's the towel? There we go. And we're just going to get this stirred around now because we want to cook this kind of quickly. Get We're going to give it about three minutes. Just let that onion and red bell pepper soften up a little bit. Uh, but remember, it needs to be chopped really and diced finely. Oh, Ellie's Attic is here, y'all. Hey, hey Elizabeth. Elizabeth, everybody say hello to Elizabeth. She did a good job here this afternoon. Oh, I love that bottle you did. If y'all missed it, you gotta catch the replay. Ellie's Attic did a growler bottle redo, and it turned out so beautiful. Yes, it did. It was. I got to see part of that, so yep. that turned out. And I think everybody by now knows what a growler is. Hopefully, yeah. None of us knew until that video, so. Don't you remember John Massey always talking about having a growler? I don't ever remember that. You don't? No. But uh, those are cool bottles. Yeah. I love those. All right. We're just going to, we're just keeping this stirred around. And uh, there's Tanya from Hummingbird Painter. She said it smells good, Gerald. Yep. <laughs> you should be here. It smells good. You know, onion cooking and bell oh, pepper. Oh, that smells so good. Yes. All right. So we're going to add... Several ingredients here seasoning wise. We are going to add uh, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of cumin. And what we're going to do is mix that all in one bowl here. Do I do two, Deborah? We're going to mix that with a half a teaspoon of chili pepper, chili powder, excuse me, chili powder, uh, a quarter teaspoon of, uh, actually, it's an eighth teaspoon of cayenne, uh, half a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. I gotta watch my onions here. Keep oh, them yes, Sarah Leah. Up. That avocado ranch is so good. I'm not even an avocado fan, but it's great on salad too. All right, if any of you have been to Chili's and had their Southwest, Southwest, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, Southwest egg rolls, they usually bring out the Southwest uh, avocado and ranch dip with it. That's what, this is the knockoff of that. Well, Teresa, if you um, didn't see Ellie's Attic tonight, you need to see what she did with the growler bottles and she's got them. All right, I'm adding some salt and pepper. And what we're going to do is we're going to stir that around, just mix it real good. And then we're going to add that here in just a minute. Get this all mixed up. Makes a real nice seasoning powder. And again, that's going to all be in the recipe that you'll get. Hi, It'll be in, in my cookbook. Lindy always posts that, but it also goes into our cookbook, which, which she's... I'm behind on everything. <laughs> oh, behind. oh, my goodness. I haven't done the rooster for y'all yet. I've got to... I think she's got I a... was going to go fishing tomorrow, but I'm too behind on my work. I, I can't even go fishing because I feel too guilty. Yep. One of the brother tater bugs wanted to take her fishing tomorrow, and I've been asking him to do it, and then he called and says, y'all ready to go, and then we can't go. All right, what I, have, what I have right here is one chicken breast uh, that is I have cooked on the grill uh, with a little seasoning, and I have, uh, I have shredded that and also chopped it up real, real fine. We need to have that fine in, the, uh, in these egg rolls because you can't crowd those. We're going to mix that in here. We're going to start warming that up. Tell me, Tanya, um, what did I miss? Did I miss something that you did with the uh, cookbook? 
I love uh, making art with old cookbooks. Oh, I've, lo I've been doing it for years. I love it. Everybody's telling me to go fix it. <laughs> and what we're doing is we're just reheating the, uh, the chicken in this onion and uh, bell pepper. And then we're going to, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sprinkle all this seasoning in here. And now I'm going to tell you, that's going to fire this up. Yeah, it is. I love it. Just Teresa, go. I'm just an old country girl fishing. I just want a cane, bo cane pole, some crickets, and a pond. I don't I don't think I could go salmon fishing. Now, Gerald <laughs> would love it. But. I would, yeah. I, although, after a little procedure I had the other day. Yeah, I told him to go, but he, can't, he got cut on yesterday. Yeah, I can't... Uh, I can't hardly lift this arm good. Um, her page pet is September Morn, Moidle's Magic, but she's kind of been really busy and um, kind of lost her mojo the past couple of weeks. Hopefully she'll be back soon. Okay. We're going to add to this uh, two-thirds of a cup of black beans rinsed, drained and rinsed. We're going to add the same amount of whole corn uh, that's been drained and rinsed. We're going to add a half a cup of spinach. I'm just using canned spinach here that I have once again drained and rinsed. And we're going to mix this all together so that it all kind of gets combined. Yeah, that um, Brother Tater Buggin, we used to do this once a year before I had a job. And he even, uh, they got me a t-shirt that's pink and it says, I bake my, uh, my I may be a princess, but I bake my own hook or that's, something like that's that. That's it, yep. I'm a princess, but I bake my own hook. Yeah. And I do. And I take the fish off. And she... I don't know that. Do you do worms? I I, I don't guess I we've ever done worms before. It's not my favorite. Yeah, we haven't. We I've haven't, been fishing since I was a little girl. So. We haven't we haven't fished with worms in a while. We use we use crickets down here for the brim. I would do minnows when I was little too, and I wasn't fond of having to put a minnow. On having to stick a minnow. I'm not good at hurting things, but <laughs> I, you know. All right, so we're gonna have what looks like a pretty little dish here with all the colors and all in it. That is pretty. And all of this is going to go in your Yum. Uh, egg rolls. You do, Elizabeth. What do you What do you fish with? You don't fish with cricket. Our his brother calls them chinch bugs. He's, chinch bugs. He's yep. Real country. Yep. Now my brother's he's a little country. He. All right, that's heating up real good. So we're gonna. Add a. It is grilled chicken, Sue. It's, yeah, we're gonna add. We're putting grilled chicken in there. Uh, Mom and Dad will not like this. They opted for uh, something different tonight because this was too spicy. For a them. frozen dinner over this. They uh, couldn't do the andouille sausage either, so they missed yeah, out. The andouille sausage kind of did them in. I think they uh, had a lot of trouble with that. I've cleaned the fish in my day too, Elizabeth, but since I married Mr. T, I'll let him do the fish cleaning now. I don't have to do it anymore. That's not my favorite part. All right, we're using Monterey Jack shredded cheese tonight. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this heat down a little bit. We've got it all warmed up. It's so, all ready to go. So may I ask, if anything that you've seen go in this that they don't like. They can just omit, right? Sure, they can omit. Like, they can like add to. They can change. Hey, um, Monica. What now? I said, hey, Monica. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah's just not crazy about chilies. So I was, that's why I asked. Chili powder? Oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It was chili you powder, yeah. Oh, it was chili powder. But did chili you put jalapenos in it? Uh, I will. Oh, I didn't know. I'm going to. So yeah, just leave out whatever. If you don't like it spicy, leave some of the yeah, spices. Just, you can you can leave it out. You can adjust the amount in there. Uh, I am putting about three quarters of a cup of Monterey Jack in here. We're gonna let that. We're gonna mix that. We're gonna let that uh, kind of melt down a little bit. 
Elizabeth, I was busy um, doing all my fishing at the cabin at Pickwick when I was growing up. Thank you for those stars. That was so sweet. Thank you very much for stars. Thank you. She, she said she, her weekends, every weekend was spent fishing at Horseshoe Lake for years. Wow. Uh, we, my brothers are talking about us going over to Horseshoe here very soon. Catch some bass. All fun right. Fact, we're gonna... Fun fact about Jared's dad, who was the most, I love that man so much. Love my father-in-law, um, but we lost him in '86. But he was such a great fisherman. I mean, the best. He taught. Bill Dance. He, he, well, I was waiting until you quit banging to oh, tell him that was loud. Um, yeah, he taught Bill Dance how to fish. Oh, okay, Elizabeth. Well, they're t aren't we talking about going to Bear to do the... Yes, Bear yeah, Lake. We'll probably go down to Bear Lake. So. That's in March, Mississippi. All right, so... We've got all of our spices in there. we got the cheese in there. Let me get this off of the... Oh, Patty, that's so cool. I remember um, I would I would gladly dig up the worms. I've been a worm digger since I was a little girl. and So I would do that. And I remember the little bait containers with the worms in them where you have to fish down in there for them. It's not my favorite thing to put it on the hook, but I'm not scared of worms. All right, I am going to add... Well, what I'm going to do here is I am going to chop this up. This is uh, diced jalapenos, but we need to, we're going to chop that up just a little bit more. That's all right, Deborah. We're just glad you're here. Yeah, I love eating them too, but I've had to, you know, back when I was little and we'd catch brim, we had to help clean the fish. I did not ever clean a catfish, though. That whole process, I had to see. I was sticking it on the side of a tree? Uh-huh, and I can't, no way. I had an ant that would do that for us. You have to skin a catfish. I wasn't about to do that. He's good, isn't he, Judy? All right, I've just diced that jalapeno up real fine because you don't want anything to be just overbearing. Oh, really? Wow, he was a fly fisherman. Wow. Oh, that's great, Tanya. All right. You did too, Elizabeth. That's funny. Janice, we're glad you're here. Isn't that funny, Cecile? Your, your husband wouldn't eat the fish, but you did. He loved the fish for you. That's so great. He didn't like the fish? I guess not. All right, so we've got a good <laughs> mixture here. This is great. I'm reading it all, y'all. And what we're going to do is we're going to, this is all good and melted, so I'm going to put this in a bowl right over here that I've got. Oh, Debbie sent you stars. Because we got to have, Debbie sent me stars. Thank you, Debbie. Is that the new visitor? No, that was Deborah. Oh, okay. All right, this is coming out. I'm going to. Mr. T used to duck hunt, too. He doesn't do that anymore, though. Hey, Deb. This becomes our kind of our stuffing for our egg rolls. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this skillet. I had a cousin who, uh, he still goes deep sea fishing. I don't, I don't, I've never been deep sea fishing. Even though I was born in Mobile and went back every summer no we don't have any lobsters around here uh when we honeymooned in cancun they were all so fresh and uh big and inexpensive we couldn't believe and cheap yes <laughs> what we could get a lobster for because we love lobster and crab all right so uh, what i've done is i've just kind of cleaned up my skillet because we're going to use it to Fry these egg rolls in. I've never eaten a crawfish in my life, Elizabeth, but Chris loves crawfish. Gerald's not a big fan, but Chris loves them. And I'm going, I'm sorry, I'm getting some kind of text here and it's worrying the heck out of me. Just hit it, do not disturb on your phone. <laughs> Dale's already got our mugs done. 
Wow, that's impressive. All right, we're going to use vegetable oil here to fry these uh, egg rolls in, and we need about maybe three quarters of an inch of uh, grease here. And we're going to let, while that's heating up, we're going to get the egg roll wrappers. Regina, that's my fear. Uh, I love boating, but out on the ocean, it is unpredictable, and I could tend toward... Um, um, seasickness. I've only had seasickness once, but it was in Hawaii, and it was real, and I don't like it. It was real, wasn't it? It was real. Is it, Dolly said, is it oil or oil? It's oil. <laughs> oil. <laughs> <laughs> where is Dolly? Dolly, where are you at? What does she, what does she call it? We bowl, we wrap stuff in aluminum foil. Right. <laughs> and we cook stuff in oil. <laughs> There's two syllables in oil. And we eat pie. <laughs> <laughs> and we eat pie. Pie. All right. Earl. Yeah. What I've got here is egg rolls, egg roll wrappers. And what you want to do is you want to take, can you, let's see if y'all can see my plate here. You want to take this wrapper and put it in front of you in a diamond shape so that you have a corner pointing right at you. Now, the fact is that you'd only need about two tablespoons of this mixture in these egg rolls, and you want to put it about a third of the way up. No, that's Pete panning. He gets excited when there's food around. Yeah, he thinks he's getting some big old food. Dolly said, oh, go do your wash. <laughs> All right, so we just get a little bit, because you don't want to overstuff these. You fold the bottom up to the end. You fold the ends over. And what you end up with is what looks like, it should look like a little envelope. So take um, a little bit of just water, just cold water. And dab it around the edge of the point up at the top. And then you want to start rolling this. Ooh, these are going to be so good. So Look that. At these. I'm so impressed, baby. These will seal themselves. And then give it just a little bit of a squeeze just to kind of compact it. And we're going to set it aside. Amanda say it like Gerald says it. I love that. <laughs> she does it so good because, you know, she lives in Wisconsin. But she'll anytime she sets up a side, she's like, and then set it aside. Set it aside. She doesn't, you know, she does it in your southern accent. I love it. All right. Our grease is heating up, and we're just going to touch the edge of these with water. Well, I don't fold. put the R in wash, Tanya. I say wash. He says wash. Washing. Fold the bottoms up. Sorry. I'll hush now. What are we doing here? Are we having a grammar lesson or are we cooking? <laughs> I'm sorry. I love the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you make your little envelope and then you just roll it up to the top to seal that. Give it just a little light squeeze and set it aside. <laughs> so y'all are going to have to bear with me because what we're doing here is we're waiting on the grease to come to a what? A bowl. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> we got to get that. Do you, Janet? That's funny. That right, Tanya. He can take it. Don't you worry about it. We're going to try to get our, well, no, we need to get our grease to 375 degrees. So. So while it comes to, gets to that, and while you roll, do I get to talk to him? You can talk to him. Because somebody's going to come along later and say, if she would just hush, we could hear you talk. They, they'll do that, won't they? I know. I get it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you've done it before. You, you're, you're a pro with this, right? Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. She talks too much. That's what I hear. She talks too much. Yeah. 
She talks too much when she's... And I almost quit reading comments because of it. Yeah, she... All right, same thing. We start at the point. Put a little oh, bit in there. Yeah, anybody who... Y'all go watch Tanya's live. You can catch the rest of this on replay if you want to. Good luck, Tanya. Do good. I'll watch it on replay. Thank you, Tanya. Hey, Ratonia. Hey, Kim. How you been? Oh, her mister is in the kitchen cooking pork chops and fried potatoes. Fried potatoes, yum. I've heard him say ranch too, Monica. So rinse, wrench it out. I think my grandmother said that. Then you wrench it out. Rinse it out. No, wrench. Wrench it out. Wrench it out. I'm trying not to anymore, Patty. They got to me that one time, but I'm not letting it happen again. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sue said, I wonder if they would work in an air fryer. Just a thought. I bet they, they would. would work, they would work in an air fryer. I'm not sure what kind of timing you would have to do with them. Uh, but they fry for only like three minutes. And Chris Tate is a master of the air fryer. We have not made friends with it just yet. He has made, he has kind of got that, he must have that down pat because he does pretty good with it. Oh, Kim, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I gotta find out what's going on. What is it? Did I miss she's something? Not, she's been better, but it's all in God's hands. I was asking how she was doing. Um, wait, let's see. Well, I'm glad everybody's here with us, and especially oh, thank you, it's Joey. Kim. Yeah, they don't want to. He told me he needed to know, he wants to know what y'all are talking about and saying, and he's busy cooking, so he doesn't get to see the comments. I don't so get to see the comments. He no. likes for me to do that. Oh, Lori Hamby bakes her egg rolls, and it works great. You can bake them. Even this recipe comes with instructions on how to bake them if you want to do them that way. Okay. And we are going to fry them. We're up to like 200 degrees, so we've got a little time yet. I know, Regina, and he keeps saying he's going to. Um, hey, B, how are you doing? Oh, Kim, well, you are in, you're in my prayers. I did not know, sweet friend. I'm so sorry. Is it you or, or is it your friend? Thank you, Wendy. That's sweet. Oh, you've got a deep fryer to try it in. Good deal. Oh, yeah, that would be nice to have, a deep fryer. Now, y'all, listen, if you try these in the air fryer, let us know, uh, you know, how it went and tell us what to do. We'll try it that way maybe next time. Just remember, that as you do each one of these, just give it just a little light squeeze, and that just kind of packs everything together so that it fries real good. And thank you for bearing with me as I do each one of these while we're waiting on our grease. Okay. Um, uh, no way. An air fryer cooks the best steaks. Has he ever had one of Mr. T's steaks on the grill? Because I can't imagine it being better than that. <laughs> um, Lori has uh, baked her egg rolls before in an air fryer and first brushed them with a light coat of olive oil. Yeah, and most everything that goes into an air, air fryer has to have a little light coat of, of uh, oil. You know what, Kim? If Honestly, I'd rather have something than somebody I love. So I know how you must be hurting. I'm very sorry. I, I'd rather take their place. It's harder to watch somebody you love. Yeah, Betty says, just don't squeeze the Charmin. <laughs> <laughs> Only, is Betty on there? Uh-huh. Only us old school folks will know that, right? Yeah, Betty's here. Betty, I made a trip to the post office box today. So you better be looking to things that same things that y'all have ordered. Anybody has placed an order. He's gotten pretty much all caught up except for today. Except maybe? for blocks, yep. Yeah. Some recent well, blocks. Well, in the blocks I've got curing, so that's my responsibility yeah that's how my grandmother would do steaks on a stove uh, on in a cast iron skillet but I just love a grilled steak um, 
gas grill and he marinates them and stuff. I agree, Kim. I, I understand. Oh, goodness, yes. Y'all are going to have to come to Memphis because we're going to have a bunch of, of egg rolls here. <laughs> we're going to have a bunch. <clears throat> I hope they reheat well because we will eat those. Air fryer baked potatoes are really good. What? What'd you taste? I, I licked my finger and it is spicy. Did you lick your finger while you're putting water on my egg roll? I, you know what? I say it. He's going to kiss me anyway. How many right? times have I kissed you today? <laughs> Every chance I get. All right. <laughs> They're all looking at those laughing faces. <laughs> they saw me. You bet they saw me. They're laughing at us. Right? Oh, you can freeze them before you fry them, and they freeze well. That's what we ought to do. Uh, I think that is it. In, no, that's not in these instructions, but I think that you... Uh, um, oh, Teresa, that's a great idea. You can do that. We may have to freeze half of them. I know. Wouldn't that be so great, Betty? Oh, I would love that. We've talked about it. That would be fun. What's that? All of us crafters that are local, Lee and Elizabeth and Moidel and Tanya and Trish, having a crafting retreat, and you can do the cooking for us. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? That's right, Regina. <laughs> Um, Wendy, we got them at Kroger. They are in the section. Okay, in our Kroger, it's close to the cheese. What's with the egg roll wrappers that you saw today? He went to the store today. Um, well, there's wonton wrappers. There's egg roll wrappers. There are but uh, some. Familiar. There are some uh, um, uh, high-end cheeses. It's in the section, it's a refrigerated section at the back of our Kroger near the cheese. Um, near all the cheeses, yep. But it's not with like where the sausages are and stuff like that. Nope. No, it's where the cheese is. And it's are. not with the, you'd think something like this might be with the biscuits. That's not the case. Uh, but you might want to show the wrapper so they can know what to look for. I will show them the wrapper. Yeah. I'll do that. Right now, I'm trying to catch up Do with you, my Jane, skillet. Do you, Jane? You know, we're Southern, and I think we like fried really well. Uh, <laughs> yes, most Melissa. Of, most of true egg rolls are fried. Yeah. Um, Sue, I, I will do my very best to get this out to you in the morning. And again, y'all, I, I I'm giving up fishing. I, I'm so far behind for y'all. I've got to do a cook the next cookbook installment. I've got to get our May painting done. Oh, okay, Susan. I did not know they were in the produce department as well. I don't know that I've ever seen them, but... Uh, what's the difference between them? Tell me, pa Pamela. Tell me. Well, I don't know. Difference between what? I'm not sure. I'm going to see what she says. Oh, okay. Lori says the wrappers are in the produce section in their grocery stores, too. Really? Maybe our Kroger just oh, didn't refine. Amanda just got here. Hey, we were, Amanda. We were talking about you. Yep. We yep. love to hear how you talk like him and you say, set it aside. Just like him. <laughs> How's it going, my friend? Um, it's going to be a rooster, Elizabeth. Everybody voted for her. A very colorful rooster, which is so my jam. So I've just got to design it and paint it. I started yesterday, um, but hopefully tomorrow. I've got a million and one things just to do tomorrow. Just cleaning up my hands a little bit. And that's why I'm not uh, going fishing. I hope it'll be fun. Pete says he's going to sit right here until these are done. Okay. And have an egg roll. He's a good boy. Uh, what's the difference in the wrappers? Um, the wonton wrappers, I think, are... Um, I don't know. I think they're smaller, actually. 
I don't know. I'm not. I, I gotta tell you, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Linda, bless your heart. Yeah, that, did your phone change that? I love toosters. <laughs> I know she meant rooster, but I love a good typo or autocorrect. I really do. Okay, so yours has it near the tofu and vegetarian stuff too, Kathy. Okay. Heck yeah, you could, Melissa. You can paint your rooster on anything. Um, it's going to be our May uh, class, Jane. That's what everybody kind of voted on. They wanted me to do a rooster for um, May. All right, our oil is up to 300 now, so we're getting close there, and I'm just about done with this because I'm running out of egg roll wrappers. I do love wontons. He's going to have to try some wontons sometimes. He's using, Jerry, he's using water to seal the egg roll. That's all you have to do on the egg rolls. You, you just put a little bit of water on them and it kind of softens them and... Well, she didn't know if you were using water or an egg white. I no. think you can use either. Yeah, the, the water works best on these, I think. Hello, Lynn. That's okay, Jana. Come on back and watch the rest of it on replay. Did you lick your finger again? I did. I'm not eating that egg roll. <laughs> Yeah. You don't know which one's going to be, do you? I don't. We're going to have to mark it. <laughs> yeah. What? That was a bird. A bird just ran into your window? Yes. Bless him. Well, Elizabeth, you know where we live. Cream cheese stuffed wontons. Yes, Lori. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I haven't eaten since breakfast. Y'all are killing me. Penny says it's the same dough. It's just the size and shape that's different. I hope he's okay. Let me see. What did he... Oh, is he fall? No, I think he blew away. So yep. We're good. But he's going... I don't know what that was, man, but don't go that way. He's got a headache right now. Yep. Did you hear it, Melissa? He, yeah, ran right into the window. Bless his heart. Oh, here goes Debbie. Okay. Made from the same base. Okay, our grease is coming on. It's not quite there yet, but coming oh. on. <laughs> Dolly hollered at you. She said, stop that, Mr. T. You're not setting a very good example for your students. And then she said, I love you, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Lindy, please let us know how hot they are. Okay, Pamela. But now just remember, I love spicy. She likes the hot. So anything, any of the spices in this, you adjust according to your taste. I do, Cindy. I love my birds. I don't want them running into the windows. One time, one, I've watched it. It flew right into the window and little feathers kind of went foof. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fine. Did you, Tony? <laughs> I need to do that, Teresa. It doesn't happen real often, but occasionally, yeah. Oh, I've never, I've yet to see a dead bird, but, oh, if I did, oh my goodness. Y'all know how I feel about my birds. All right, we're 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 getting close here. Grease is coming on. It's going to have to come on. So, that's a, it's kind of a good thing you put the oil on right before you start rolling. Yeah, and because then it's maybe got to. by the time you roll them all. It's got to heat up. All right, last one to roll. And these are. <laughs> Elizabeth, you're my kind of girl. <laughs> all right, uh, these are egg roll wraps. They are, what's, how would you pronounce that? Nasoya? That's what I use. Um, uh, I'll tell you that they're vegan, which means <laughs> there's no meat in them. Vegan. Yeah, that too. Well, there's no egg in them. 
So, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if that helps you make a decision on what you use. I don't, well, it Dad, doesn't make a bit of difference to me. Yeah. Mine's gonna have chicken in it. <laughs> he is, Betty, yes. Betty said, Mr. T is on a roll tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we used almost all of our mixture, which is a good thing. Putting the right amount into each one of these. Look at you. And then, I don't know, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen egg rolls. Guess who's here? Who? Linda Purcell. Hey, Linda. She's, my old buddy. She said, you really have some hidden talents there, Mr. T. Looks yummy. My, my old buddy. They used to work together. Yeah, we did. Uh, All right, I'm going to get this out of the way. Raisha, I'm gonna, I'm going to be sure to post the recipe in the morning, uh, or you can, you know, just go back and watch on replay to catch what all's inside it. That's true, Debbie. Yes. How many did it make? Pamela said. Eighteen. Eighteen. That's how many wrappers are in a package. <laughs> Lori. Any vegans watching are dying because you're putting chi chicken in a vegan wrap. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, that came out pretty close, so we, we did pretty good about that. Oh, Cindy, I hope that's not the case. Cindy says, I found that the vegan egg roll wrappers don't get crispy. I'm going to be very sad if these aren't crispy. Well, I'm going to tell you that the only thing they had was, these were the this only egg the only rolls they had. Of, yeah, our Kroger carries. All right, our grease is to roll. Thanks, Jerry. All right, we're ready to roll here. Our grease is ready. And what we're going to do is I we're going to... I don't gonna, like grease. I'm gonna yeah, we're going to drop these in. Scooch it away. Oh. And let them start cooking. And if you can see the... Uh, Skillet here. I, I will say that it's best to put these things in with the seam down so that that kind of cooks. And yeah, can y'all imagine what our house is going to smell like for a few days? You yeah. know what? I'm going to open the back door since it's so cool. All right. Okay by me. Probably so. All right, those are going to cook really quickly. What you want to do is watch it to where, as soon as it starts browning, we're going to start turning these over. And if you can see my... You got a good, a good view of it. I think y'all can see that. And the other thing that we need to do is we got to get uh, real quickly... Ooh, those cook fast, don't they? Yeah, they do. We've got some, uh, I got some wire racks here that we're going to put over here and we're going to take them out. Oh, okay. Oh, Lori, that's good. Lori said if they don't get crispy, brush them with egg before frying. Yeah, these are going to, I can see right now, these are going to get crispy because they are already crisping up that quickly. You only have to cook them about three minutes and... Yeah, they don't, it don't take, it don't take. <laughs> Doesn't take but just a few minutes. We want to shake those off a little bit and then we, I'm, I got a paper towel underneath. These are, wow, these are going to cook really quick. I like the looks of that. Those are looking good. Yeah. I used to, when I wasn't a huge steak fan, and he has always been a steak fan, when we'd go to a steak place, I would always get the appetizer of Southwest egg rolls instead of the steak because I love them so much. Yeah, I'm watching it. I saw you drip that. What's that? Oil. I just didn't want it to hit the burner. Yep. Oh, they're sending you hearts. All right, these are looking good. Can you see our skillet? Let's see if I can get you a little better picture of that skillet. It kind of cuts my head off, but I want you all to be able to see that, that these are crisping up really good. 
Yeah, that's, ooh, that's nice. That's pretty. The thing is, it, and I think I did it inadvertently, but if you overload the skillet, it drops the temperature of the grease real quickly. And so they kind of cook a little slower. I think that one's ready. Cindy said those look amazing. Those really look, I like the way those are turning out. Parts are just flying up. Oh, thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you, they might. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the, and neither is he, of, you know, deep frying inside the house. But you know, I don't, I do what you I, gotta do. I'm not crazy about that, I gotta tell you. Right, Jody, I know. She said, I would use them as a vessel to get the avocado sauce. Yum. Yep, we're gonna have to. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna make the, <laughs> I was gonna make the sauce, uh, the dipping sauce while these were cooking, but they're cooking you so can. quick. That's all right, it won't take but just a minute to do the, uh, could you get the, uh, yeah. the uh, food processor for me? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that out. Oh, those are looking so good. Yeah, can you see those? Yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. And they're drying out real good, so it, I can see that's going to be just about right. I'm going to let these three, you got to keep the temperature between 350 degrees and 375 for these to cook right. It dropped down to just before 350. Putting that many in the skillet at one time, so you might want to reduce the number that you put in there. I think that one is ready to come out of there. Thank you, my little darling. Which, which attachment do you need? Um, I just got to mix. I think just the, yeah. the blade at the bottom. I'm just going to mix that uh, dipping sauce. All right, that one's ready to go. Ooh, those look so good, y'all. Well, thank you for tossing the taters, Diana. Regina said they look beautiful. They are turning out really nice. All right, we're gonna drop some more in here. That's wonderful, Deborah. That is wonderful. We're gonna cook them all. We're just gonna see how these keep and... We put grilled chicken. He, uh, we, we didn't do anything. He put grilled chicken. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. He's making me want some too, Robin. They look so good. Oh, I'm gonna, I've got another baker's rack right here, cooling rack, that I'm going to get some paper towels under, and I'm yes, going to uh, partake of a little adult beverage. Oh, Dolly, that's so sweet. That is really sweet. She just got some flowers delivered for Mother's Day from her son. Well, isn't that nice? Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. All right, these are cooking up real nicely. Well, I'll see y'all on Mother's Day if you can make it live. <laughs> if you'll kind of watch the edges, I see that just as you see the edges kind of start turning brown, give them a flip. Like this right here, I don't know if you can see that. They may just be just as delicious, Vicki. Oh, they're beautiful tulips. Oh. They're tulips, huh? Tip and toe, tippy toe through the tulips. Tippy toe. Tip toe through the tulips. Monica said, how far is Wichita Falls, Texas from there? Oh, it's a, it's a little bit of a That's drive. a fur piece. A fur piece. All right, we're going to roll these babies over one more time. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Y'all, these are going to be good. Deborah, it's grilled chicken. Uh-oh, that one burst. Yep, Tommy Tim, Linda. 
I had that silly song stuck in my head earlier today for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, these are coming out good. Now the uh, the dipping sauce is real easy to make, and and the that'll be in part of the uh, recipe that we post for you. Sydney <laughs> said, "Oh darn!" Oh darn is right. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say that myself because those look like they uh, they might be some count. <laughs> That's what my brother David would say. Man, that, that looks... Them groceries look like they some count. <laughs> hey, Carla. I'm glad you made it. All right. These are cooked, and I'm turning the fire off. Hey, Amanda, if you're still here, did you talk, get to our Dave until doing a live tomorrow night? See if she... Has Guitar Dave not been doing... She forgot to do um, April. Thank you, Deborah. She mm -hmm. forgot to do what? April. The, he usually does it once a month. Oh. And they do a name that tune. Oh, it's always I see. so much fun. All right, y'all. I'm going to carefully move this grease off of the fire. It did me too, Jody. And I remember when he and, was it Miss Vicky? Got married on the Tonight Show. I'm so old. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> You're telling off on yourself. Mercy. All right, right y'all. We are going to uh, just... We're going to hook up the... Uh, bear with me. Let me rearrange here a little bit. Oh, best of luck to you, Robin. How fun. I miss doing those. I really do miss it. This is a fun time of year to do a craft show. So, Elizabeth... Does that make us officially old? <laughs> Regina says we're not old. What'd you just eat? What'd you do? Did you taste the inside? Mm -hmm. Is it so delicious? That's really good. Y'all, that's really good. <laughs> Is it Udern? I don't know what's going to be Udern when inside these egg rolls. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, Wanda. Okay. Here we go. In the, yeah, I can understand that. Here we go. We're going to take a fresh avocado. Avocado. And we're going to cut this baby. Yeah, I hope you sell out tomorrow, Robin. And we're not going to use the pit. Okay? Okay. Okay. And we're going to take a big old spoon. So what can we craft with the pit, y'all? Yeah, we got pits. <laughs> we're taking a whole avocado, and we're taking all the innards. That's one. I know, Linda, I don't like avocado very much either, but I love this dip. Let me say, tell y'all, I don't like avocado raw, but guacamole or anything made with it is delicious. When you when you pair it with something, excuse me while I wash my hands. Grow the tree. What else? You got a Tom Selleck. Is that doesn't he grow avocado? Doesn't he have an avocado farm uh, in Hawaii? I have no idea. Well, you know I love me some Tom Selleck. I have no idea. I got to meet Tom Selleck in person one day. Don't rub my face in it. Huh? Don't rub my face in it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell him that story. I bet you haven't told him that story, have you? I have. Have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, you did? So, y'all think they grow in Memphis? I All right, y'all. I'm, I'm just moving some equipment around here so we can... All Judy know. wants to know is, will we see jazz hands today? I was waiting for it. You know something? This is as good as... Oh, Amanda loves it all the way. It's raw, guac, dips. How's this work? <laughs> um, no, there's... No, you don't have... Turn it. Turn the handle where it, it's kind of at five o'clock, and then yeah, six o'clock locks it. Have to talk to him in aviation terms. 
Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, I know y'all can't see, but I've got a fruit processor here. I've got my avocado in there. We're going to add... Um, Jane, that's so cool. Um, I guess I'm going to have to try to grow avocados now. Mm -hmm. Take the pit and put it in a pot and let's see what happens. I just threw it away. The pit? Yep. Uh -uh. I'll get it back out if you want to keep it. All right, whole avocado and four tablespoons of ranch dressing because I'm actually making a double batch here. The recipe is going to be on there. for one batch, but I'm making a double batch just because I like a lot of dip. So it's... Oh, okay, Teresa. Yeah, okay. Six tablespoons of whole avocado and six tablespoons of ranch dressing is double the recipe Send this over here <laughs> I got it out of the garbage y'all it was slimy <laughs> They are slimy All right and we need to add 1 tablespoon of milk to this Yes. Well, we're doing a double batch, so I got to do two tablespoons. I used to put avocado in a smoothie, and I liked it that way. So, because I know they're so healthy for you. All right. Bear with me. We're just about to fire this up. Now, y'all made me want to learn how to root an avocado, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, that must not be locked on. If it's not locked, it won't do it. You'll feel it when it locks. See that little, see that little. Oh, okay, Sue. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna Google it to get all the details, but. Look at you, Elizabeth. I want to know what it is. I know it's been a lot, but I want to know what it is this week. I like the weekly count. All right, y'all. So this, you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of, of dip, but, and the reason I did a, a double batch is because it does not make a, a whole He lot. likes lots of dip. I like lots of dip. I'm going to get a little bowl here to put this in. Oh, I'll have to look for that, Sharon. I would love that. Uh, Dolores, it is um, Southwest Egg Rolls and Avocado Ranch Dipping Sauce. I think I'm off camera too much tonight, aren't I? Sorry, y'all. It's pretty, oh, too. That's pretty. It's pretty. That's, that came out really pretty. So let's see, we're going to try to get all this goodness out of here. Everybody hanging with me? Gosh, I've been an hour. Wow. Oh, that, I've got a very small drill. I may try that too. Am I, am I running on top of anybody? Uh, well, Tanya had to leave. She went live at six, so no. Oh. But she, you know, she knew. So. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Elizabeth said, "Yeah, all these ladies just hate looking at a handsome man, Gerald. The nerve of you." <laughs> okay. Y'all make him blush every time. Let's see what this. Yeah, y'all quit talking about that stuff. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, Lindy. Vicky, that's cool. I'm, I'm going to look for all of these cool tips. All right. 
So I, there's not much plating. I mean, it's an egg roll. Uh, it makes the, the pretty little avocado sauce, though, and that's pretty. And I'll wash my hands after. And I'll let you have that, and I'm going to get you a napkin. Huh? Crunchy? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is that good? That's tell, better than I got in a restaurant. Tell me that's good. Let oh me see. Oh my word. Let's see if it's any good. Mm. They're so crispy. They did turn out very, very crispy. They're, mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh darling, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh darn. Y'all have to try this if you haven't already. Mmm. Mmm. That. Very. I'm so impressed, babe. That is quite tasty. Mmm. -hmm. And you know what? It's not as spicy as I thought it would uh -uh. be. No, it really isn't. I mean, it's the perfect amount of heat. Even with the, I mean, the uh, jalapenos in there. Mm-hmm. Regina wants to know if it's any count. <laughs> that right there is some count. Mm -hmm. Vicki, you need to. Debbie wants some jazz hands. It's good enough that jazz hands. <laughs> oh, these are really good. These are good. Y'all got to try that. You can fry them. You can bake them. You can air fry them. Any one of the three. Um, we chose to, I chose to fry them because, uh, you know, traditionally uh, egg rolls are fried. Uh, the, the recipe will have instructions for everything you need, how to cook it all three ways. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it does not have any, uh, instructions on there on air frying. So I don't know how to tell you, how much, um, time? How much time and what temperature, um, you kind of have to feel your way through that. Uh, but it does have instructions on there on how to bake them if you want to just put them in the oven. Honestly, this is so true to form here. Uh, this is this is really good. This is really good. Got the right right amount, a little bit of heat in there. Yeah. Uh, and the... Uh, and the avocado ranch dressing is... Oh, uh, that's the doc. I really like that dip. Barb, we're not going to leave you. And listen, Barb brought up a good point. I had somebody message me today about not receiving our notifications that were going live from Facebook. Um, I had her go check and make sure she was still following our page because I've had it happen to me when I follow other crafters. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, I don't get notifications. And I went. It was Lee. And I went to her page, and it had unclicked. I mean, I wasn't following anymore. And so that happened to the lady who messaged today. She checked, and sure enough, Facebook had changed that setting. Wow! So please go and check. And All make of you sure check your settings. Make sure that you're getting notifications from Tater Buggin and uh, Tater Buggin Sweet Tater Bugs. No, that you're follow still following. And that you're following us. Uh, Lindy will be live uh, Sunday. Um, Tanya is. Uh, she'll be live Sunday at four o'clock. Four o'clock. Tanya's live right now. Switch over if you're not watching her. Switch over and catch her. Hummingbird Paintery. Hunter, hummingbird. Paintery. Paintery. Um, Elizabeth, I think, is live tomorrow, isn't she? Uh, mm -hmm. She was live right before you today. Is she going to do Sunday? No. She's going to do the weekend. It's going to be it's gonna be Lindy, and you get to see her new hair day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a new hair color, but same old hair. And color. color. Just, yeah. No. Listen, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in here. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, I have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, this really turned out good. This was fun. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. And uh, uh, come see us at our shop, taterbuggin.myshopify.com. See if there's anything there that you like. Our uh, tear trays will be in there again coming yes. this week. Amanda will be live tomorrow night. Let's make sure to say that. And Teresa, Telegram um, app. Yes, I'm on the Telegram now. I send out a Telegram right before we go live. Yeah. Amanda is going to be live tomorrow. Make <laughs> sure and catch her. What time did you see a time for Amanda? 
Uh, it's usually 7.30. 7.30. Kathy from Digital Deco Designs, the lady who designs all those beautiful rice papers that yeah. I use, is on right now. She said, you can tell Lindy's mouth is full. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it in. It was so good. She is stuffing it in over there, y'all. I'm going to have to let you go. So good. Woo! 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 <laughs> yes, Penny. She got it. Thank you. We're going to see y'all. I'm going to let you go. Go catch all the other girls, and I'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Love y'all. Love you all. Thank you for the hearts. And 